Hollywood shows. We both did Perry Mason um, in locations department. So there's a lot of information in terms of like, you know, the differences or like, you know, anything that you would want to know in regards to like big productions versus indie filmmaking and all that kind of stuff. So obviously just feel free to, um, to ask anything that you want to know. Anybody? Don't be shy. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, do you remember what they do? Yes, I do. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Um, you better repeat your question. Oh, um, safety concerns. Right. Did we uh, do anything specific uh, as our responsibilities as producers to have someone on set? Um, this actually was more of, again, like Bobby fills many roles, mm -hmm. and he did ensure that we had Sydney. She was amazing. I was just actually thinking of her when seeing her name in the, um, the credits just now. But she was, her entire role was just to be on set and make sure that everybody was doing everything properly. She had, we had gator boots, or not gator boots, excuse me, uh, the like, what the, the snake boot cover Universal. things, just, we never saw a single snake. <laughs> Luckily we were very safe, just uh, by the chance of, you know, the forces of nature, but, um, she was definitely out there passing out waters constantly, oh, yeah. Yeah. And taking care of everyone. Yeah, you know, our, our biggest actual threat towards uh, production and filming was the weather itself in Desert Valley. Um, and I, every every single night after filming, every day after filming, we were, the, you know, camera crews, camera crews cleaning the cameras uh, for hours on end. Um, the, the scene we filmed at night where uh, Hugo's character and Vig are discussing. Um, that was in reshoots, by the way, the nighttime. Right, and the way we had, we had to reshoot that because the first time we shot it, um, we could, I, I was actually holding a uh, reflector about, you know, 20 feet away. The wind was so bad, we were just like, standing it, there like, holding this thing back from the wind, it was like about to fall over. So we were the safety, we were the ones, like, just don't let anything hit anyone. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we, we did our best, uh, but again, we, we, we did have to end up doing some reshoots. Um, there was another scene where we were trying to film and just completely out of nowhere, unbeknownst to us, we, we've been checking the weather, and, and again, Sydney had been keeping us pretty briefed on uh, what we are gonna be experiencing out there. Yeah, we had like safety meetings beforehand, and she was in charge of doing all of that, and, and you know, making sure like, that the big, the big one was water. Oh yeah. Because yeah. you forget, you're shooting and you're just like in the zone and then all of a sudden you're like dizzy and it's like water, water, water. <laughs> yeah, we, we had our craft services set up out of the, uh, the SUV we were uh, using to transport all of our equipment. Um, but yeah, one day one day of filming, uh, it just it became overbearing with the sand and I remember Vig kind of, he, he wore that, that robe. I don't think I ever saw Vig not wearing the robe. Yeah. And he just threw it over his head and he was good to go. Uh, but but Joe and I, Joe was the um, Joe. Joe was, yeah, he was Sam, yeah. correct? Yeah, him and I were Chris. Chris. Joe, you're talking about our camera operator. I believe yeah. so. Yeah. yeah, we we were actually lugging all the equipment during this sandstorm, trying to get it all covered. Uh, Bobby and I had to get my heart out of the sand, so it was just. It was more annoying than safety, I'd say. I was probably more like, go to sleep, everyone so that we can get up the next day and like um, do it again. Uh, our turnarounds were gnarly because we had so much night scenes. So we actually took a two day turnaround just to make sure everybody was like, had their rest and food and could uh, get back at it because we were doing full 12 hour days, certainly. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I can't see. Are there any other questions you might have? Yes. Was Hugo D'Souza, was that the parachuter character? Yes, that was. Have, has, I, it seems like I've seen him somewhere before. Right? Yeah, okay, so th this is great. I mean, um, <laughs> in the, I did, I heard kind of rumors that he had another uh, project here. Right. The yeah, Event. And, um, it it's a short we, film called I, The oh, Event. Oh, no, trust me. Okay, oh. so we were in the shorts program, uh, Come See About Me, I believe. And it, we, I was sitting there and his, he has a short and it starts off very dark and you can't actually see his face. 
And I was sitting next to the actress, uh, Amy, the one at the end, who's the kind of uh, guardian angel to the, you know, the afterlife. And I was like, Amy, that's Hugo. I swear to God, that's Hugo. And then like the light comes up and it was, it was absolutely his film. He has one written and directed, The Event. Mm -hmm. that was screened last night, seven o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and um, quite frankly, it's been the talk of the festival because yes, everyone that I asked, like, how did you enjoy the the, the screenings and the um, the shorts? And I hear everyone keeps bringing it up, and like the event. I'm like, that's our lead. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go check them out, Mr. Limbo. Now, if you like it.